Hey, what is up people? And welcome back to another um, Pokemon card video. Today we're not opening Pokemon cards. Today I'm doing what I've been saying I was going to do for quite some time. I'm gonna show off my uh, my whole Pokemon card collection. Uh, and the way I'm gonna do this is I've got, I've got them kind of split up into a couple of things. I have this big black box, which I'm gonna show a picture of now, that has uh, all my like single cards that aren't really part of sets or I haven't put them together into sets yet but I'm gonna go through that first and see if we can even get through that whole box today so this might be uh, one or two parts I can't see it being three because that'd be crazy but I have them divided up and of course they're all in top loaders they get a little dusty sometimes that's the only annoying thing about top loaders but the first thing I'm gonna do is go through I'm gonna go through them from back to front because uh, the best cards are at the front of the stacks so first we'll go through the trainer cards um so here's see look at that that's the only thing i hate about top loaders they get dust on but here's a rockets pokeball from team or ex team rocket returns um it's an older one uh I've, this one is definitely from my childhood collection uh, i'll try to remember which ones are which but it's a really cool trainer card i know trainer cards aren't that exciting uh here's a battle reporter full art i think this is actually uh the first full art trainer i pulled it's either this or a, a lysandre but i pulled that um way back in the day here he is that's the one i was talking about lysandre's is it lysandre lysandre lysandre's trump card but that look at that <laughs> that's a pretty cool full art a lot of the older full arts um have a lot they just have really cool designs here's um a bird keeper that i pulled from uh, I, I don't think this was from my... Oh, this was from Shiny Star V, which is something uh, I did not record opening. But a very nice full art trainer card in Japanese, nonetheless. Here's a uh, Psychic Energy, which if you remember, I pulled in one of my random pack openings from a uh, Japanese tournament pack. So, I, I mean, I know energies are energies, but there's some cool ones out there. Here's um, <laughs> Big Daddy Rose. I pulled him in one of my videos on here. Not my favorite full art, but... Full art's full art, so it gets in here. Here's the secret rare Psychic from Sun and Moon. I think Sun and Moon base. Uh, the uh, secret rare um, energy cards are always really cool. I like any of the gold energy cards. And I apologize, my mouth has been extremely dry today, even though I've been just downing water. Uh, Skyla, this is actually one of my favorite trainer cards out there. Uh, I know it's a big fan favorite. A lot of people really like this card so i was excited to pull it uh it's always nice to pull the the big cards here's probably one of the lamest secret rares the golden suspicious food tin not very exciting uh, i've pulled that a couple of times and every time i see that little sliver of gold i think uh, i'm getting something crazy so here's uh rapid strike uh, mustard and single strike mustard i was really excited to pull both of these and i, I haven't even pulled the regular full art version of these it's just these two uh, but the rainbow rares, hyper rares, are awesome. Battle styles is an iffy set for me, but I was really excited about those. Uh, there's an energy restore reverse that I got from Chris's collection when I did that video. Uh, here's a first edition old rod that I got from uh, Chris's collection as well. I mean, it's an old rod. What else can I say? It's first edition. And then the rocket sneak attack, which I've had this card many a times. I've had it first edition. Uh, and I've sold them when I just have had to sell some things. Uh, and I wish I kept one of the first edition ones because I like Team Rocket a lot. And those cards are cool. All right, next. Let's see. Next up, I've got these all divided. Well, this is a small one. This is Fairy Type, which RIP, Fairy Type. So there won't even really be any vintage ones in this one. Uh, this Gardevoir I got from a 10. I liked it. Uh, nothing too special about it here's an um exernius ex a promo i really like i miss the ex card so much but this is a cool exernius i've had that for a long time uh here's a mega mega gardevoir ex i can't even speak um i want to say from generations and i don't i don't ever remember what these little charms were down the side but nonetheless it's got the shiny gardevoir on it and they're hanging out together. And then, of course, a promo, Sylveon GX, which is a, a shiny, shiny boy. The old GX hollows are really cool. 
but those were in the that came from the tins that were out not that long ago so those are out of the way i think next is dragon yes next is dragon and here's hydrogen not an exciting card but I, hydrogen is a pokemon i really like so there's just a basic hydrogen hollow uh here's a really nice dragonite from what year we got here 2013 so i can't remember exactly what set that's from but i know it has the older like cosmic uh hollow which is my favorite we got the prism star latios in japanese and i think yeah i have it in english as well i always thought prism star cards were pretty cool but uh people didn't get as excited about them as of course like gold star cards <clears throat> or anything like that so here's this is really cool a restroom and zekrom uh full art uh, i don't remember which set this is from but the art on it is awesome it's got in on there uh, i was really excited when i pulled this one um one of my favorite tag team arts that i have and then a Rayquaza ex promo i think this one was from a tin uh a black and white tin i think um i used to get tins all the time that was like the one thing that i bought the most was tins and then a mega latios ex and i really liked when they did the japanese writing and then of course if you get it in japanese it's got the english writing on it and i always thought it was cool how they did the uh, differences there so let's see next 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 is steel type so still none of my vintage ones as, as you can tell, the, the newer types are more towards the back. Uh, well, I mean, this this could be considered vintage, I guess. An e-reader reverse hollow Steelix um, from EX Sandstorm. So after Wizards of the Coast to let go of the reins. But that's still a, a really nice hollow. This old hollow, though, gets scratched so easily. That's the only problem about it. Here's a EX, or not EX, a Delta, well, it is EX Delta Species promo steel pikachu uh this is uh, i love the delta species concept and I'm, I'm upset that they don't have it anymore but uh this pikachu he's really cool there's a swirl on him as well Woo! i never even noticed that that's a nice swirl. magnezone uh again it's just a promo nothing special i think he's cool though i'll try not to go too fast but, oh here we go uh a steel type nidoran from EX Dragon Frontiers. Uh, I think these were considered the reverse because they had the stamp on them, but uh, these were really cool. The way, I really like the way they did these back in the day, but the Dragon Frontiers, Steel Nidoran, very, very nice. Then of course the Battle Styles uh, promo, Bronzong from the Build and Battle pre-release box. Uh, I'll be hoping to get my hands on the Chilling Rains pre-release box. A Steelix EX uh, that I pulled recently from uh, Steam Siege. And then here's my Zamazenta V, the golden black card that I got from the ETB opening I recently did. Uh, very cool. I wish I, well, I hope they do more um, black and gold cards because those are really cool. And there's my shiny Mega Steelix EX that I got uh, also from Steam Siege. I, I got this after I said so many bad things about poor steam siege but that's a really nice card uh dialga ex i believe well this one isn't a promo so i actually put back this one back in the day i can't remember again which one this one's from but it definitely came out of one of the millions of tens it feels like that i bought there's so many of them uh back at my old room at my parents house that are just in my closet there and then the jirachi ex very nice very nice all right, so I think we're getting into the bigger categories that I have. I'm gonna try not to stack too many things on top of each other there. Get everything mixed up. Uh, this one looks a little bigger. I think this is dark. Oh yes, this has one of my favorite cards in my collection in it. And I am I'm gonna do a top ten cards in my collection. Uh, I'm not gonna say I'm, which ones are my favorite. You'll just have to pick out of this one. So here's a dark Rai, uh promo from 2014 so a little older still cool like me some dark rye murkrow uh reverse an older one as well 
uh, with the dusk stone on him i don't even remember putting this card in here honestly but it's a nice one and look at that look at that lovely hair stuck in there wow so it happens when you have a dog with plastic everywhere uh crocodile again these are just older hollows from i think all those are from black and white uh greninja i really like this greninja promo it's got his ninja pose going on with the smokes around him kind of reminds me of goku's nimbus the way the uh smoke is drawn but nevertheless a nice greninja this is a bigger stack so i'm moving a little quicker here's a, a black and white hound doom because that's the uh hollow pattern that happened a lot during black and white i like that hollow pattern still not as cool as um the cosmic you know the og pattern there's another dark rye his darkness aura you can barely even see it because it's green on black <laughs> i don't know why they picked that but a, a cool, another promo. I don't know why I have so many promo dark rides. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's my Yevital Amazing Rare that I got. I want to say I got this from Shiny Star V as well, but it's the only Japanese uh, Amazing Rare that I have. And and also, when you open these top loaders, they have just like little specks of plastic get stuck in. I'm, I'm going to complain about top loaders more than anything, but look at that shine. Wow. Very cool. There's a shiny Galarian Weezing. I know a lot of people don't get too excited about the, the baby shiny cards, but I do, because I really like this one. And then, oh, another, I've been shiny hunting the stupid Galarian Zigzagoon in Sword and Shield for months now, and still haven't got one, because I just do it without like soft resetting or anything. But really cool Japanese shiny Galarian Zigzagoon from Shiny Star V. Um, a Feevil, I actually, the guy that sent me one of my booster boxes that I opened just threw that in for free. Cool, shiny, feeble. Oh, I remember pulling this rainbow or ra rainbow whale. It's been a while since I pulled this one, but Eternatus VMAX rainbow hyper rare from Darkness Ablaze. Look at it one more time. Wow, shiny, shiny. Then the Crobat VMAX and the regular shiny Crobat from the Crobat V box won't stick on those too long because you see them all the time. But my goodness, the full art shiny cards are beautiful, let me tell you. Uh, Sable IV, I really like this full art. I got it in one of my, yeah, it was just one of my random pack openings. But the full arts with the like outlines around the cards are really, really nice. Oh, Galarian <laughs> Obstagoon shiny golden card uh i'm still so disappointed i decided not to open these vivid voltage packs the vivid voltage packs on camera because i pulled this just from four random packs from target uh and it's it's such an awesome card i i wanted it so bad and i'm really glad that i pulled it because you can't beat the shine on this guy and the, it's such a such a cool um shiny just overall then there's the black and gold eternatus v max to match the rainbow one. I should probably put those next to each other. But uh, hopefully everybody remembers when I pulled this one because it was an exciting time for me. All right, we're getting into oh, Umbreon EX. Uh, I pulled this out of that Pokeball tin that I got. Um, I love the evolutions and this Umbreon is beautiful. Again, I missed the EX cards. All right, so this card is probably one of the rarest, well, it's definitely the rarest dark card that I have, but Rocket Snorlax EX. This was actually pulled by my brother back in 2004, and he was gracious enough to give it to me. My little brother. Uh, he's not as interested in his Pokemon as I am, so I have all his cards now. But the these old EXs with the uh, hollow around the outside, shoo, baby. I love them. That's such a cool card. Tiny health for a Snorlax, though. Especially Snorlax EX, come on. All right, all right. On to the next. Also, a lot of my vintage cards are in my Master Set Binders, which I'm gonna, or Master Set Binder. I'm gonna go through it um, after this. So it'll probably be in part two because uh, it's just the whole thing in itself that I've been working really hard on. So I wanna show it off uh, in full, not just at the end of the video. So here's a, Lucario reaching for the sky, an older one. Uh, so we're into the fighting type, ground type, whatever you want to call it. So there's going to be a lot of my champs like this guy. Stupid hairs everywhere. 
Very cool, my champ again, the cool hollow. Time out, I gotta drain some water. Oh my gosh, I'm talking so much more than usual. Usually I'm just opening. Hitmon Lee with the, from Heart Gold Soul Silver, a promo with the Shattered Ice Hollow. Don't see too many of those. But I used to always think the Heart Gold Soul Silver cards were like worn out around the edges, but they're not. So. Uh, and then here's a really cool one Reggie Rock from EX Halone Phantoms, uh, a pack that I would, or I'd love to open some of those packs, but. Those are long gone, but that's a very nice um, reverse. Is he a rare in this set? Uh, yes, he is. Wow, very nice um, stamped rare from Halone Phantoms. And then here's another stamped Dragon Frontiers Delta Species uh, Horsey. I mean, how often are you going to see a fighting type horsey? Am I right? He doesn't even have arms. What's he going to do? Beat you with his tail? But... He's a really cool one. Uh, I, I wish they'd do reverse rares in a different way. Here's another Dragon Frontier, Chikorita fighting type, and I love uh, the hollow is on him, and he's like the clay. Uh, you know me, I like the clay pictures and the, the yarn pictures. They're so exciting. More, do we have more? No, here's just a reverse Hitmonchan from 2010. Uh, so it is hard gold soul silver. You can tell by the faded looking border, but it is nosh, very nosh. Oh, here's a Mwah! Crim de la Crim special, dark tyranitar from EX Team Rocket Returns, and it's stamped. It's just beautiful. <laughs> I love this card so much. Uh, the this era of cards is probably my favorite, and. It, clearly, it's starting to get a lot more love. I mean, everything Pokemon is getting a lot more love. But, I mean, how could you not look at that card? Just, I, I love that one. It's very nice. And it's like a dark fighting type. It's just great. Shiny Roly Coley to follow it up. And he's, you know, it's Shiny Roly Coley. Um, Grappalock V. Just a cool card that I pulled from a Champion's Path ETB. Uh, Marshadow GX. I like my full, I, some people are like, why do you sleeve those and put them in there? It's because I think they're cool, all right? Lay off. Here's an older Gollum EX from Generations. I haven't seen a lot of Gollum love lately, you know? You know, drop a drop a little like for Gollum if you love him. And then Groudon EX. This is from, uh, the. it's from the Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire times, I do believe. And we got a full art Machamp GX. And then, oh, here's a good one, good one. This Flygon, look at all that hollow on there. And you can clearly see, we got a beautiful swirl on each side. There's so much hollow on this card. Um, and it's got hollow bleed. You can see it bleeding all off to the side. Oh, man, you can really see it in the light. I've never seen it look that good uh, through the camera. It looks really nice. Um... But I really love that card. Not too often you see that many swirls on a card, you know? All right, here is just a base set, Hitmonchan. Uh, of course, I haven't gone through... My master sets are base set... Well, master sets that I'm working on, they're not complete, are base set 2, fossil set, and jungle set. So he has not found his home yet. Uh, when I and I haven't started working on a base set because that's just gonna take a lot of a lot of work But I do have a lot of base set cards sitting around But there's the OG Hitmonchan people that I see open base set packs tend to pull him a lot So he's nothing too crazy But then we've got this dark tyranitar that I got from Chris's collection And if you saw me sleeve up all the cards at the end, I, I actually cleaned this one up You can see it's pretty worn and it had a um, spot right here that uh, it actually came off really well when I, I looked up how to clean these properly and he has a beautiful swirl as well Right into the flames, but there's the back. It's a little beat But it is what it is, you know, and then here is the last one of the fighting types Machamp from the legendary collection, which boy would I love to open some more legendary collection cards because they are beautiful uh, the reverse hollow ones. You know what I'm talking about? The firework reverse hollows, huh? Huh? Because those are nice. 
but there is Machamp. So that is all of the fighting ones. We'll start to get into more vintage ones as we go through, but uh, I think, let's see, we'll have time for about one or two more. I think, I wanna say Normal is next. Yeah, so this will be a big one. It's looking like, I don't wanna make these videos too long because I, I want people to get to see all my cards and I wouldn't want you to have to sit for 30 minutes. Um, so this will be the last one we're gonna go through. Here's a reverse Lugia, and that reverse will blind you, my goodness. God, these dumb little dusties all over the place. Uh, a level 43 Lugia at that. We're going to have to burn through these. I got a lot. Reverse Meowth. Wow, wow. Nothing too crazy about him. He's sitting by the docks. Uh, just a Jigglypuff. I really like the hollow on this one because they used to do this where the types would be in the hollow. So very cool, very cool. And, ooh, EX Crystal Guardians Reverse Spiro. Uh, Crystal Guardians is such a cool set. So I'm happy to have anything from the set. But here's um, a stamped Spiro from Crystal Guardians. You know, Spiro. Here's a Rayquaza from Heart Gold Soul Silver. Uh, got the Faded. And he, it's a nice looking Rayquaza. I posted this on my uh, Instagram, actually, the day that I'm filming this which will be yesterday probably, or whenever you watch this, it might be a year later, who knows. Everybody loves Eevee. This one weirdly reminds me of like old cartoons for some reason, but another blinding reverse. Anything that's normal or steel with this kind of reverse on it'll rip your eyes out, you know? And that's from Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Ira, Reggie Gigas. He's got some big moves, but he's got a nice hollow pattern on him as well. Level 42. Very cool. Uh, Wooloo. I pulled this one from the General Mills when I was just tearing through <laughs> Captain Crunch. I managed just to get them. They were on sale for so cheap, and I was like, I'm going to buy a lot of these. <laughs> Why not? There weren't even really any crazy cards on them. Uh, this came from my friend Sam's collection. This is a, uh Eevee that it was in this like really weird packaging, and I looked it up, and it was a McDonald's promo. But it's got some really cool hollow on it. It really catches the light. Um, an old McDonald's proto. He had a, an old McDonald's proto. I can't even talk. Uh, shiny Bunnelby. He's new, so don't worry about him. Uh, shiny Wooloo. Again. Wooloo-ish Wooloo. Yes. Not too special. Even though I do really like the Shiny Wooloos. Now here's a cool one. Uh, Lugia EX. Team Plasma Lugia EX promo. This was from a Team Plasma... Plasma Storm 10, I want to say. I'm, man, I wish I had kept all those to open now, you know? Or just never open them. But here he is anyways. Uh, it's really cool, Lugia. I like the Team Plasma, how it was kind of trying to be like the Team Rocket sets. But nonetheless, very cool. We got a lot of EXs in this. So here's the Meowth V and Meowth VMAX from the Meowth V and VMAX box. I have a couple of sets of these, and I use them in my competitive decks because they're good here's a mega kangaskhan ex from flash fire i think that's what that is but anyways little baby kangaskhan's coming out to fight you in this one uh it's a really cool one of course has the lettering across wham bam punch he get, 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 gets you uh, gumshoes gx i don't even really know much about gumshoes to be honest uh i never caught him or used him. I did catch him, but I didn't use him. But anyways, Gumshoe GX. Sorry for all those Gumshoe fans out there. Here's an EV uh, alternate art. I think that's what the A means. That came from the Pikachu EV Pokeball collection. Ditto V Max, the big man himself. Uh, I pulled this in the first um, video I ever posted on here of Pokemon cards, so that's exciting. Shiny Double V, another very good card in the TCG. At least good for me. Uh, there's everyone's favorite Hidden Fates promo from the Hidden Fates Elite Trainer Box. It's beautiful. I mean, you've probably seen it a million times, but the stained glass, I wish they'd do more promos like this because I love it. I really, really do. Uh, Vivid Voltage Snorlax promo from the pre-release Vivid Voltage Box, which I really wanted the Charizard, but we got Snorlax, and Snorlax is cool. Don't, don't upset. Snorlax is cool. Cramorant V, um, Cramorant V from the Shining Fates 10. 
Uh, then we get into the really exciting ones. My Mega Rayquaza EX, which I just recently, extremely recently pulled from those uh, Roaring Skies packs that I found at Walgreens. And I mean, I couldn't complain about this, but we'll get past him to get on to the next one. Because what an awesome card. The Full Art Mega Rayquaza EX. Currently one of my favorite, well, it is my favorite pool of the year, no doubt. Um, but wow, there's just so much going on on that card. And it's very, very cool. Now we're getting into the vintage cards. Here's um, Erica's Clefable. Not, yeah, Erica's, Clef Erica's Clefable. Uh, Japanese card from the Gym Challenge Heroes set. Uh, I, I love this set. And this card is special to me. I've had it for a really, really long time too. Uh, the old Pocket Monster is back. But um, a very cool card. Happy to have it in my collection. Dark Persian promo. Uh, he's got a nice swirl up here by his face. Uh, I want to say this came with a Game Boy game, because I know the Meowth did, because the Meowth even has a GB. And I have the Meowth, but he's really beat, so I don't uh, add him into things too much. But there's the Dark Persian. Uh, very nice vintage card. Then we've got Porygon from uh, a vending machine. That's what those are from. It's the vending machine series. Uh, I wish he was hollow. But this came out of my friend Sam's collection, which was just a big old bag of Pokemon cards. And he was lurking down there in the bottom. And I was really excited to pull this one out because I've never even seen this art before. And I, I thought it was really cool. Then here's Team Rocket's Meowth promo. Look at him getting jumped by everybody. Charizard's going to murder him. Uh, of course it's cool because it's Team Rocket's Meowth. And who doesn't love him? And I love the Black Star promos as well. So... A very cool one. Also came from Sam's collection. Uh, having given a shout out, shout out to Sam. Thank you for letting me have uh, your old collection. Here's a German Ursaring. I don't even know why I have this card, but I do. And I know I've had it for a really long time. I think I just got it in a lot back in the day. But uh, you wouldn't even know it. If you just glance at it, you wouldn't even know it's German until you um, read about the Schlosseldrock and the Doppelasso. Um, cool card. I like it. Uh, foreign languages, which you'll see in part two in my other. Oh, here's a, a big hitter. Good thing it came right at the end. Um, but here's the legendary collection, Reverse Firework Hollow Eevee. Dang. I love this card. It's beautiful. I could spend five minutes just looking at it. I mean, look at the firework. Oh, it looks so nice. They're exploding when you go this way. Uh, I've had this card for a really long time too, and it's in pretty nice shape. Um, every time I've seen people have these, they always get beat up for some reason, but beautiful card. Very happy to have it in my collection. Uh, here's Koga's Ditto. Another one from the Gym Challenge, Gym Heroes, Japanese set. Um, the hollow is nice. He, he takes up most of the picture there, but I love me a good Ditto, and I love me a good Koga. There's the... I, I missed the OG backs on the... They should have just left Pocket Monsters on. Japanese Pokemon cards because it looks really cool. But there he is, there he is. Looks like we've got two left. What are they gonna be? Oh, a nice base set Chansey with a very nice glow in the back. So I picked this one up for super cheap and I just couldn't pass it up when I saw it. Uh, but I do like, I, I'm. you'll learn soon that I'm a big fan of the base set two hollow as compared to the base set fossil set jungle set like more stagnant hollow because they went to the japanese uh the traditional hollow for the next ones and then finally we have this dragonite from the pokemon for the first movie there's four different promo cards i had them all sealed uh, i wish i hadn't opened them but this is this card's as nice as you get it's probably these like four cards are probably some of my cleanest i love the stamp on it um, I'm just a sucker for stamps, and that one's a cool one. It's kind of in a different spot. I love the art, very simple Dragonite. And then, of course, I have the Catch Mew. Join the Pokemon Trading Card League, la la la, to earn a free Mew. I'm a little late, 21 years too late. Whoops. But um, still, I'm really excited to have that in my collection. I've had it for a long time as well. Um, but we'll sit him right here as we end the video. That took a little longer than I wanted. Um, but that's the first half of my big box. I know that one's not as exciting as the second half's going to be because the second half, of course, is 
water types, the fire types, or all my Charizards, uh, electric types, grass types. There's a lot more vintage in that. And then when we get into my master set binders, this might be a couple parts. And I, I even want to show off more of my collection that's like my figures and stuff. And then I have some other more kind of random Pokemon things that uh, I, I don't see too often. So you might not see too often. But thank you so much for watching. I'm really happy to finally get around to doing this and showing these off because uh, I love my Pokemon cards and I've had them for a, a long time. And I mean, I love them as much as you all do if you're watching this, you know? Um, and I, I like to get the, don't get the, you know, I don't pull these out when people come over all the time to show them off. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, leave it a like. If you want to see the next parts of this, my Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocks, more pack openings, and then other uh, non-Pokemon related stuff as well, um, subscribe and come back for more. I post videos every Monday and Friday. Again, thank you so much for watching. Uh, bye bye